Good afternoon, everyone. This is Kyle Wheeler from the National Weather Service in San Diego, and I'm here to talk with you about the potential for our first monsoon thunderstorms of the season later this week. So just a few quick key points about our thunderstorm threat this week. It should occur over the course of Thursday through Sunday later this week, and we're mostly looking at just isolated to scattered storm coverage, um, mainly across our mountain areas. We don't really expect to see much uh, drifting into the deserts or into the valleys this week. Our greatest chance for thunderstorms will be on Friday, and any storms that do develop will likely be very slow moving, uh, which may allow for isolated flash flooding. So the reason we're able to get thunderstorms across our area this week can be seen in these two pictures on the screen where we have our upper level pressure on the left and our moisture on the right. And what's happening here is by Thursday, this weak low pressure system, which is sort of the circle that's south of California right there, will be in place and even though it's weak, it will actually be able to drag moisture that's uh, coming from the south into uh, areas like New Mexico and the Four Corners region. It will be able to drag it westward into our area. And that's why on the right-hand side of the screen, you see San Diego is in uh, these blue shades, which indicates higher uh, relative humidity and moisture. And so that's basically what's allowing this setup to occur and why we're going to be seeing uh, some thunderstorm activity late this week. Just taking a closer look at our probability of thunderstorms uh, across our mountains later this week, as the low pressure system starts to move into the area on Thursday, that's when we just start to see isolated thunderstorms, low chances across all of our mountain areas, like 15 to 25 percent. And then by Friday, uh, our atmosphere is pretty primed for scattered thunderstorms, especially in the Riverside County and San Bernardino County Mountains. Uh, we'll be highlighting the Big Bear area on that day. And then on Saturday, it starts to taper off a bit, but we still have decent chance for isolated to scattered thunderstorms, uh, once again, especially in the San Bernardino County Mountains. And then uh, things really taper off by Sunday. We're expecting... Um, little to no activity from Sunday onward. Here's just one more graphic. Uh, once again, highlights the uh, chance of thunderstorms across the area, but also shows us uh, what our main hazards will be from this event. Um, uh, primarily, we're looking at chances for heavy rainfall. And as I previously mentioned, uh, the slow moving nature of these storms will allow for localized flooding uh, we're going to be paying close attention to our uh, bridge and line fire burn scars uh, over the course of this week and into this weekend. Um, and obviously with any thunderstorm, there is the potential for strong winds and lightning. And uh, should a thunderstorm uh, reach any portion of the desert, uh, you could always see blowing dust with any thunderstorm that occurs. One more thing to note before we wrap up. Uh, for our partners listening, we will be issuing our bridge and line fire burn scar briefings starting tomorrow. That's July 15th. And uh, so just be aware of that. And otherwise, uh, just make sure to uh, stay updated and follow us on social media. We are on Slack, X, YouTube, and Facebook. And here are some resources listed below. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you all soon.